So today we're going to be talking about small cell lung cancer advancements, approvals, and a look ahead. With small cell lung cancer, there's nothing small about it. Small cell lung cancer is a aggressive form of lung cancer and really no, not one size fits all. What we know about small cell lung cancer is that it is initially sensitive to chemotherapies and immunotherapies, but it has an innate ability to adapt and lead to relapse and resistance and spread that is ultimately very challenging for our patients and their families. Um, for decades, we know that most patients who were diagnosed with small cell lung cancer would ultimately, unfortunately, succumb to their disease within uh, 12 months of, of their diagnosis. And so breakthroughs for small cell lung cancer have been desperately needed. So where does small cell come from? What we know from beautiful work that was published a few years ago is that um, chronic damage to the airways, whether that's um, you know, firsthand exposure, secondhand exposure to tobacco or cigarette smoke or other potential toxins um, in, the, uh, in the environment can lead to damage of the proximal airway or the, the cancer cells that are in the central airway close to the center of our chest. And that damage over time can lead to the loss of two protective genes, R, B, and 53. From that damage, this leads to reprogramming and deprogramming of these cells that ultimately can um, evolve and, and change into small cell lung cancer. What you can see here on the right is the image of a CT scan of a patient diagnosed with small cell lung cancer where you can see that the cancer begins very close to the airways. And here on the, on the far right, you can see another patient who, um, as if they're standing here looking at us with their right side and left side as marked on the, the image, you can see that the cancer really seems to start in the center of the chest and can cause problems very quickly in terms of shortness of breath, having a chronic cough or coughing up blood. And so what are the genetics of small cell lung cancer? As mentioned, we know that there's two very important proteins that are lost in this cancer. And those are RB or retinoblastoma and PVD3, which is the protein that really is called the guardian of the genome. And as you can see here on the bottom right, you can see that there, um, when PVD3 is lost, it's as if it's being tangled up and unable to protect and be the guardian of the genome, allowing for cancer to arise and more damage including the addition of, uh, of several um, different other oncogenes such as MYC that may be um, driving this cancer to grow and spread.